biggest game of the season this Sunday at Villa Park. Aston Villa against Manchester United. Back-to-back -back home defeats, you know, 3-1 defeats as well. You see on Sunday. You see on Sunday. We need to make this place a fortress once again. We need to see a bounce back. We need to see a reaction. Let's get into this match preview. Yes, yes, people, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Now, of course, we are outside Villa Park for the match preview. Aston Villa against Manchester United. And like I said at the start of the intro, this is one of the biggest games of the season. Coming back from the loss against Chelsea, losing 3-1, we got absolutely battered. We got battered. Pochettino, you know. Pochettino, if he lost that game, you would have got the sack. Aston Villa on your bike. That's what you would have done. But they came to Villa Park and they absolutely battered us, out tactically done us, out fought us, out run us. Our midfield was not there. Kamara, the real Brazilian, Douglas Luiz, that's what I like to call you. You weren't no Brazilian that game, bruv. You were no favela baller that game. The amount of misplaced passes we made was not good. Kamara Luiz that game was not good enough. Like I said, I want to see a reaction. I want to see a bounce back. Our fullbacks that game got exposed. Matty Cash exposed. The amount of runs they made in behind. Alex Moreno got exposed. Madueke joining the whole game. We need to see a reaction. We need to see something a bit changed. A change in the, the system. I'm not saying completely change the whole system, but make some tweaks, Emery. Because if we play the same way, teams will find us out. And I feel like that's what's happening right now. Teams are knowing how we play. They're starting to know how we play. So I feel like if he changes a few tactics up, yeah, maybe make a few changes. Will Matty Cash play this game? I don't know. I don't know. Can we see Diego Carlos coming in as a right back? I don't know. Ezri Khan's a massive miss. Paul Torres, 50-50. Haven't really seen the press conference yet as I'm recording. But if he plays, that's a massive, massive booster. He is Mr. Unai Emery's man when it comes to building out from the back, playing those passes into the midfield. We've missed that big time. Yeah, we've missed that big time, man. So hopefully Paul Torres is fit against Manchester United. And I want to see a good, good performance, man. Man United, they've won the last three games. They're on the up right now. They've got some good players. But we'll touch on Man United in a bit. But yeah, man, like I said, I want to see a reaction. I want to see a bounce back. And yeah, man, make this place a fortress again. Make this place a fortress again. Teams are coming now, yeah, and they think they can bop Villa Park. They, can, they, they think they can bop at Villa Park, you know. They think they can cook us. Let's make this place a fortress again. we still got a few more things to delve into. Come, let's go, man. Like I said, we've got more things to delve into. This game, the midfield is going to be a key key battle who's going to come out on top against Chelsea they won Enzo Fernandez, Caicedo they bullied us Douglas Luis Camara like I said before they weren't good enough man this midfield from Villa against Man United is going to have to be on it because they got a new star boy in town there's a new star boy in Manchester and he goes by the name of Colby Maino absolute roller man I rate him highly he's getting goals he's a top top player man um, him Casemiro Douglas Luis Kamara, that's going to be a key, key battle. So we're going to have to be on it. The midfield is going to have to be on it as well. And like I said before, fullbacks can't get exposed this game. Players like Garnacho, Marcus Rashford, Hoyland, they will run in behind. Bruno Fernandes, he will play those balls in behind and they will run in behind that defence. And that midfield as well. Matty Cash Moreno going to have to be on it in this game. The last couple of games, we've been playing way too narrow. It's like we're playing down a corridor. We need to stretch teams out against Chelsea once again. We were too narrow. They stretched us out. Madueke stretched us out. Gusto stretched us. Chilwell stretched us, man. So we need to stretch Man United. Well, like I keep on saying, their players, their attack will get in behind, man. So like I said, the last couple of games, we've been playing way too narrow. We need to stretch Man United this game and really get in behind their defence. And touching on their defence, Harry Maguire is going to be starting. Oli Watkins, you need to be on him, yeah? Liam Bailey, you need to be on him. Run him behind. Make this guy run. Get him in a foot race. He's slow, so we need to get in behind, in behind that defence. And also, as well, the defence has been leaking a lot of goals. A lot of goals, man. So that's one way where we can impact them. All right, people, let's get into my lineup now. And like I said, I haven't seen the press conference yet. It's not out yet. Um, so, Paul Torres right now, it's a 50-50. 50-50 chance will play. Uh, but, yeah, let's get into it. Of course, in goal, Emiliano Martinez. Right back now, is that if he won, does he go with Mighty Cash or does he change it up? Can he go with the Diego Carlos at right back? Matty Cash, I have to say, defensive-wise, he's been got at against Chelsea. He was far too wide. He was attacking a lot. But at the same time, there wasn't that midfielder. There wasn't Douglas Luiz tracking back and helping him out. So, 
I don't know, man. I don't know. Probably will go with Matty Cash. So, yeah, I'll play Matty Cash right back. But don't be surprised if you see a change there. Um, but, yeah, Matty Cash right back. Centre-backs, like I said, hopefully, Pau Torres is back. Because we need him, yeah? Left centre-back, Pau Torres. Right centre-back, Diego Carlos. Left back, I'm going to go with Alex Moreno. Alex Moreno, you need to be on it this game. Against Chelsea, you got cooked. You got put in the air fryer and you got overheated, man. You need to play well against them. Against Man United, you need to be on it, man. A game, yeah? A game from you. Midfielders, that double pivot, I'm going to go with the Wiz and Kamara. You need to be on it this game. That double pivot need, needs to be on it this game. Against Chelsea, they were poor, like I said before. So, yeah, I'm going to go with the Wiz and Kamara. You're going to have to track back this game as well, like I said. Matty Cash going to need support. Alex Moreno is going to need support. You need to track back this game. On the right now, I'm going to go with John McGinn on the right. I think he's better on the right than the left. Uh, so, yeah, I'll play McGinn on the right. On the left, I'll go with Jacob Ramsey. We're going to need that ball carrying. He might not be 100% fit and ready as he is has been before. Um, but, yeah, just that ball carrying ability. I'll play Jacob Ramsey against Man United and... Yeah, man, he can really run at them, run at the defence and get at Harry Maguire, especially. That's one weak point, I think, uh, that can be got at. Um, so, yeah, I'll play Jacob Ramsey on the left. Now, in the second striker role, Liam Bailey. I was thinking maybe play him on the wing because he's better on the wing. But I'm thinking Jacob Ramsey on the left, McGinn on the right. It's a bit more balanced, I think. It's a bit more balanced. Yeah, Leon Bailey on the wing. That's his preferred position. He's better on the wing. But I think for this game, maybe he'll play that second striker role. And also drift wide as well. Yeah, I think he'll play um, Leon Bailey there. And the next to him, of course, the gunman, Ali Watkins. Yeah, one of the best Premier League strikers this game. And the Villa players, the midfielders, everyone needs to support him. Against Chelsea, he didn't have much support. Did not have any outlet around him, man. Didn't have any runners behind him. So yeah, Ali Watkins is going to need support. And yeah, man, that'll be my lineup, people. Let me know yours in the comment section below. Your thoughts on the game as well. Your score predictions. Let me give mine now. Score prediction. I'm going to go for a... I can see a draw. I'm going to go for 2-2. Two, two. But we need a bounce back. We need a reaction. We need a reaction. So maybe maybe a 2-1. But I'm going to go for a 2-2, two, two, man. I'm going to stick to a 2-2. Two, two. Like I said, it's going to be a tough game. Man United, they've won the last couple of games. But yeah, man, we need to see a bounce back. But yeah, people, stay tuned for the match day vlog. The match reaction after the game. Let me know your thoughts on the game. Like, comment, subscribe and up the villa.